How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and this is a look at my pool. I've been taking care of my pool uh, on my own. So it's been a trouble free pool. And uh, I haven't been down at the pool store and I've been balancing it myself. I spent the four, first four years with my pool always running down to the pool store trying to figure out if I need pH up, pH down or shock it. And uh, this year I took control of my pool myself. So if you want to take care of your pool yourself, the first thing that you're going to need is a good test kit. This one here is a Taylor K-2006 Complete FAS DPD Chlorine Test Kit. Alright, this kit probably costs about 60 bucks. It'll last you at least a season and even more depending on um, how, how much you use it and also you can always buy the new reactants you don't have to buy a whole kit so if you run out of one reactant you can get it by mail so uh, those of you that use those test sticks that you dip in the water and they change color I used to use those I used those for four years straight they are the most difficult thing to use they're never accurate they get bleached out if you shock your water and uh, you never know what's going on um, it, it's just it's terrible trying to use them so you really got to get out and get yourself a good test kit so you can tell what the levels are your test kit is going to be more accurate than the computerized tests that they give you down at the pool store because this test is going to be dead on and you need a good kit that's why I recommend a Taylor kit All right, so the first thing that you want to do when you test your water is get a good sample. You're going to notice that I put my arm deep in the water and I'm going to stay away from my returns and I'm just going to take a, a nice sample of water. So what you want to do is you want to take your bottle and flip it upside down and form an airlock dip the bottle all the way down in the pool as deep as you can go and then let the bubbles out by tilting the bottle. That'll fill your bottle with water. Once it's filled you have a good sample. And you want to wait usually at least after the skimmer has been running for I'd say at least 45 minutes so that the water is all mixed up and you get a true sample. So to do our testing today, we're going to be using the Taylor K-2006 Complete FAS-DPD Chlorine Test Kit. Alright, next test that we're going to do, we're going to take our free chlorine sample, dump that out, we're going to rinse out our comparator and we're going to be running a pH test. So we're going to take the large comparator and we're going to fill it up to 44 milliliters just like so. Alright, so we've uh, filled up our comparator to 44 milliliter and we're going to take reactant number four for your pH test and you need five drops. So you want to take it and put it up upside down and drop one, two, three, four, five drops. And then we're going to invert the comparator so they actually have a rubber cap for that. And you can take it and flip it over a couple times and that will mix up that reactant number four for you and we're ready to compare our pH color to the colors given on our comparator. So uh, when you're looking to tell what color your pH is you want to take your sample and put it up kind of in the blue sky and down at the bottom this area is orange that's 7.0 and at the top it's bright red which is 8.0 and our level is about 7.3 because we're right between 7.2 and 7.4. So 
So if we wanted to bring it up a little, we could add a little bit of borax. However, pH rises naturally, so I'm just gonna let it rise and we're within range. So I'm double wide six and I have a whole bunch of uh, fix it and repair videos and pool testing videos. So please check it out and I appreciate you watching and feel free to post your questions. Have a great day.